Renzori Diocese, one of the oldest dioceses in Uganda, situated in the Renzori Ranges, started in 1960 after it carving out of the Diocese of Uganda then. The diocese is now 64 years old. It has gone through different leadership, the first bishop of Renzori Diocese being Bishop Erika Sabiti, who served from 1960 to 1972. Bishop Yonasani Rakaikara was the second bishop to preside over leadership of the diocese from 1967 to 1982, and he was succeeded by Bishop Elstas Kamanyika from 1981 to 2000, Bishop Benizeri Kisembo, 2009, Bishop Patrick Charigonze, 2009 to 2010, and currently the sixth Bishop Ruben Chisembo, who was installed on the 8th of March, 2011. With a need to improve on service delivery. It was too spacious, too, 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 too large. But when we chopped down to those smaller units, so the bishops, I mean, the Christians now get services because the bishops are near them. They, 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 when the diocese comes, then it brings other services of health, education, and so on. So I think it is better now than it was those six years when it was one diocese. Later, the diocese was split, making other five dioceses among them Bunyari Kitara, Masindi Chitala, South Renzori, West Renzori and East Renzori Diocese. The diocese comprises over 82 parishes, nine archidiaconry with over 50 churches. Not only concentrating on preaching the word of God, the diocese has brought development in the Renzori region. The, our key thing is to extend the kingdom of God to preach the gospel. So if we can start with the children's uh, ministry, we have a coordinator at the diocesan level. We're also encouraging churches to build churches for children and then for the youth conferences. Every, every year we have what we call RAIM conference, Renzori Anglican Youth Missionals Conference, every year. With the need to sustain the diocese, different projects have been put in place, among them coffee farming and tree planting. Uh, the coffee plantation, I think, which you have yeah, in, in three different parts, but over, I think, around 40, 40 uh, acres of coffee. Uh, we have about 250 uh, 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 acres of uh, eucalyptus, eucalyptus trees and uh, pine trees, but we have a big dream of putting up a commercial complex in Fort Porto City, which will be called Renzoli uh, Golden Jubilee Complex, it's about eight levels. We also have Rudy Sako, it has about 5,000 members in the Sako. Since most men don't embrace church activities, the diocese decided to embark on bringing men on board to ensure the boy child is not neglected. For the men's fellowship, uh, we have Christian Men, uh, men Fellowship and Father's Union. Uh, those have a presence at the Dyson level and they work at the full time at the diocese. So also recently held uh, leaders work workshop. They had a leader workshop of three days or retreat. Then for the Mother's Union uh, uh, Ministry, that has been on for many years. They, they also they have annual conferences. They, they, they have projects that they are doing like the court keeping. They are planning also to have a complex in the city of Fort Porto. With the ongoing acts of homosexuality, which is contrary to the biblical teaching, the diocese is using all the means to teach Christians about its dangers. Although the diocese has enhanced development in the region. We have famous schools in, in Renzori Diocese, like Yamambe Girls, one of the famous schools, the oldest school actually. It's more than 100 years old. We have Nyakasura School, uh, that's about 100 years. We have uh, Toro Baby's Home, for example, the next to Sanjay Baby's Home in, here in, in Kampala. We have also Carol Hospital. Carol Hospital is also more than 100 years. It started close to, to Mengo Hospital in Kampala. We have Karnapolo now Teacher Training Institute, which trains clergy, rather not clergy, but uh, teachers. It was a core PTC then, but now it is transforming into a teacher training institute. We also have Bishop Bala College, one of the old uh, theological colleges in the region, almost six years old. The increasing cases of HIV and AIDS, especially among the young generation, are still a challenge. So I actually talk about sexual purity. Sexual purity involves uh, counseling our young people to have premarital sex, for example, abstaining and living a, a life that is, is God-fearing. God so for the issue of homosexuality, that one we actually, of course, we condemn it in a sense, not in a sense, but we actually condemn it because it's against God's principles and values and it's against the, the created nature of God. So we try to encourage our young people uh, or even the old, really, to avoid that practices and goal. Those who are involved in it, we ask them to repent. Whereas land grabbing cases are synonymous in the central Buganda region where churches have lost land to grabbers, the situation is not any different in Renzori Diocese. Yes, we have, even as I talk now, have cases in the courts of law concerning people grabbing church land. Some of this land is, uh, is unregistered, some of it is registered, but people come and in a sense want to live on it by force. A case takes, takes more than 10 years in court. At some level of poverty, it is uh, unfortunate because our region has good soils, good climate, 
So people talk about uh, famine or poverty is really a poor attitude of not working. Work, working. Being the chairperson organizing committee for Matters Day scheduled for Monday this week, Bishop Ruben Chisembo told UBC TV that everything is set to have a colorful day. Uh, for me, what you are getting out of this celebration as a dice, we are stressing repentance. We should emulate the lives of the matters, not to live in sin as Africans, as Ugandans, as political leaders, as civic leaders, people in government, we should reduce on corruption and selfishness and greed. Otherwise, if we continue living life as normal after these celebrations, then celebration will not have made any, any impact in our lives. So.